Hello, and welcome to a podcast on how to sign in to Modkit. When we first get onto Modkit at modkit.com slash vex, we present it with a screen that has two options, try Modkit for free or buy Modkit. We will use the free version. What is the difference? The buy Modkit allows you to store as many programs as you like on your hard drive. The free version is restricted to eight programs, and you cannot store them on your hard drive. You must store them on a cl the cloud, or in other words, a storage location that's owned by Modkit somewhere over the internet. You must also use uh, the internet to program. So you have to use a browser and an internet connection, whereas the purchase software, you do not need a browser, you do not need the internet. For students, trying Modkit for free is perfect because, hey, it is free, and you can save your programs. What you need to do is sign in with a Yahoo or Gmail email account in order to save software. So Modkit uses your email account as ID and security for your program files. For students and for us, the Modkit version is free, so let's go. Let's try Modkit for free. It's loading the drawing editor. There's a new tab. Uh, you get the robot view versus the programming blocks view when it first loads up. Uh, don't forget that holding the control key and scrolling the mouse, you can change. You can zoom in and zoom out and see things. Then on the right-hand corner at the upper top corner is where you sign in. So notice that there's a head and shoulders and it says sign in. So let's sign in. So it asks you to sign in with OpenID and there's only two, it's either Google or Yahoo email accounts. If you have your own account, you can now use your email account to log in. But I've got some for anybody who doesn't have an account or wishes to use uh, the ones I've created. So they're all based on Google. I will click on Google. And here I'll get a screen that says choose an account. And the number of accounts are gonna depend on what computer you have. Sometimes you'll only have one. So choose whatever uh, comes up. In this case, I'll select Vexbrick1. Ask me for a password. And I've entered the password, I'm signing in. And there we have, logged in and it's closing. That's this little window, it's closing. So we are now logged in. Now I can see all the projects or the software programs that have been saved under this name. Let's go to the project area up at the top here and go browse. There's some projects. There's projects that was three months ago, two months ago, 31 minutes ago, and seven minutes ago. Now, to make room, all you have to do is click on something and delete it. So there, I deleted that program. It's also good to name your programs. We have an untitled project. I have absolutely no idea what it does, so whatever student did this project, they didn't label it, and I'll just delete it because if it's three months old and unlabeled, it's irrelevant. Awesome doesn't mean very much either. Clawbot, we understand, something that um, grabs things. Uh, Hello is just a sample program that uses the display of the computer and, and uh, shows you hello to make sure that you know how to program the display on the robot brain. Okay, I'll just close out of the projects. Let's create a new program and we'll see how to store it uh, on the, using the projects uh, on the cloud. Go ahead. Let's write a simple program and store it. First, drag the bumper from the robot view. Select a part and give the bumper a name. Next, change to block view. When in block view, select a control instruction that starts the bumper program. Then select an output like a sound so that you know that the bumper is pressed. When you have finished the program, Go up to the project area and so select save and save the program.
Notice that you now have your bumper saved. It's called front bumper. It says it's been saved a few seconds ago. Let's close it. Let's see if it's actually worked. Go to robot view, get rid of the bumper. Go back to blocks, notice that there's no program anymore. Let's go to projects, browse, click on front bumper, say open, or click on open. There we have our front bumper. Go to block view, there's our program. We've just saved the program on the cloud after we signed in with an email account. When you're finished, you can always sign out of the email account and close the editor. And that's how easy it is to open and save a program in Modkit.